Today I'm taking you to the city of Potter Court. What do you do guys? That was awkward. I've been meaning to look for like a new greeting for a more catchy one. But till I figure it out, we have to make do with it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Efe and if this is your first time here, please do not make it your last by clicking on the subscription button, give me a thumbs up. And if you're feeling extra generous today, click on the notification bell so you know whenever I post. And of course, leave your comments below. And if not, hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to the city of Port Harcourt. I've never been to Port Harcourt. This weekend was like the perfect opportunity to visit Port Harcourt and I just wanted to take you guys with me so you see everything I did and then we'll talk about the, my experiences, the good, the bad and the ugly in Port Harcourt and um, come with me guys. But first, some facts about Port Harcourt. Port Harcourt lies along the Boni River and is located in the Niger Delta. It is the capital and the largest city in River State, Nigeria. It is the fifth most popular city in Nigeria after Lagos, Kanu, Ibadan, and Kaduna. The city has a population of over 3 million people, a city rich in culture, tourism, and the town is located on the once fishing settlement and ports. It's famed for having immense crude oil deposits, farming, fishing, and other business opportunities. Port Harcourt has a diverse group of people and they mostly speak Ijo, Ikwere, Ugoni and English. The trip from Benin to Port Harcourt was quite exciting. We stopped along the way, we saw different things to create fish, plantains, potatoes, um, bush meat on the way. And from Benin to Port Harcourt was about 5 hours but it was so much fun. I don't, I don't, you have to. Okay. One by plantain. You're not going to No, no. Eh? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm 
Stop planting. Just oh. two shots. Hey, I'll give you that. Uh -uh. I'm not. How long for that to come? I We went to a place called Bread Mall to get bread and all of that and guys we got coconut bread and that's the best coconut bread I've ever tasted. I wanted to get more when I was leaving but I couldn't and I am still hurt till this day. So if you're ever in Port Harcourt, I recommend you visit this place and try the coconut bread. It was amazing. The weather was so hot, so we decided to go cool off at a pool and it was so much fun. It was just a chill day. And as you can see, my swimming skills are improving. <laughs> Why are you acting like you're suffering? <laughs> I, I just realized that. So after swimming, we went to get food from Genesis restaurants. It's also a cinema and the restaurant had a lot of varieties. It was a bit pricey, but it was worth it because the food was tasty. We didn't get to watch a movie, maybe some other time when I come back, but it was really nice just to visit and get food. I should play music.
on our last day in Potakot, we didn't really go anywhere. It was a Sunday. We were just sleeping and eating, trying to recover from all the partying. But later in the day, we decided to go get fish just to crown the weekend. It was so much fun and I really wish to come back soon. Guys, as you can see, I had so much fun in Portacourt. Like, Portacourt is a vibe, and I'm definitely going back to visit soon. No point, I lost my slipper. <laughs> Funny thing, what happened was when the car, um, I switched to my heels. So I got down from the car, I switched to my heels, and I was trying to put the slipper back into the car, and one of the legs just bounced and fell, and there was a hole there for a sewage, a gutter, and it just fell inside and the water inside the sewage had high current so just took it away immediately so i lost that but oh well i'll get a new one that's fine and uh, my headset broke till now i still don't know how that happened i don't know what happened but sad because i like listening to music when i have that headset, it just blocks out everything but mm, get a new one and um, what else oh yeah the main gist about what happened in the club one of the clubs we went to so when we got in, the club was pretty packed, it was really full, we couldn't even find a place to sit, so we went to the balcony, there's a balcony attached to the bar, which is like a lounge area, so we sat there, chilled for a while until we could find a seat. Now, the table we found, um, there were already a group of girls there, just chilling and doing their thing, so we joined them and everything. So we're trying to get a drink and all of that, and we called a waitress, we asked her, okay, we want this drink, she'll be like, no. This one is not available, the higher one is available. Okay, this one. And we now, single girls that took ourselves out to go and enjoy in this economy, we not feel do pass ourselves. So we're trying to figure out like what to do and all of that. Like we're gonna get drinks, but something within our budget now. So like the girl, I don't know the attitude the waitress had. She went to call the bouncers, like later bouncers came and they started like clearing all the table with girls and all of that. And for some reason they we're so specific on our own table and all of that and they were trying to make it more like we already ordered a drink because we didn't order from that waitress because she had an attitude we ordered from someone else which i think was their supervisor but she was taking so much time so we're trying to tell her like we already ordered drinks like what the hell is going on and all of that but anyhow eventually the drinks came it, um although the other girls left um we stayed drinks came um they apologized and everything when the manager came apologized. i was trying to even like oh, my dance you know you don't mess up you want to come and play and all of that but it was so crazy because come on we're all human beings here you don't treat people like that and all that but anyhow after that whole episode we had so much fun we danced and danced and danced and had so much fun so now to the high point um the high point was just chilling like girls night out just chilling with the girls being to a new going to a new place meeting new people, just new experiences. And that's the thing that makes my heart beat. Like I love traveling. I like seeing new things, new people, experiences and all of that. So yeah. And this weekend guys, like, I don't know, God showed his face to me. Like, I don't know, <laughs> miracle. Like I had something amazing happen to me. Maybe someday I will share. It's not everything you come and share here, but like, it was so great. And I'm so thankful and I don't even know how to express it, but I had a great time and great experience and yeah, it was so much fun. Overall, Portacot was a vibe, although I didn't get to do everything I would have loved to do, like go to Pleasure Park, the zoo, um, check out the supermarkets, because I actually liked, when I go to a place, I like to see their supermarkets and what they have in their stores. Um, uh, what else did I get to do? Um, although I tried... Um, yam and fish i really wanted to try bole but the lady didn't have at the time as you saw in the video but there's a place i would like to visit i saw a place called um choma's bole in Porta court um tayo aina and um, Dinah ekweme they are both youtubers um tayo in lagos ekweme in Porta court and i would love to meet her maybe the next time i go anyhow there's a video they did and they went to choma's bole so i would like to visit it but if you've tried it and if you stay in portacourt or have visited portacourt let me know um places that i could try um bole and the local delicacies and fisherman soup i've tried fisherman 
but I tried it in Abuja. So anyhow, just let me know places I should go to, fun place. And if you stay in Port Harcourt, leave your comments below. So maybe next time I'm there, we could hang out and you just show me around. And it'll be so much fun. And again, thank you for watching my video. I hope you had a nice time watching it and you learned a thing or two. And um, yeah, once again, I'm a former assemblator. And I'll see you in the next video. Who knows where I'll be by that time. All right. Bye, guys.